The transitioning support is really very, very important for an employee who's moving into a new role because uh, in all probability, the employee has not played that role before and uh, it requires a new set of skills and capabilities. And uh, it's very important, therefore, to enhance these skills and capabilities and also increase the sensitivity to the various challenges in the new role. This can be very aptly done through the help of a transition coach. A transitioning employee normally is uh, uh, always uh, having some doubts about his ability because uh, organization has taken a call even if the person is not 100% ready to take on a new role. And in all cases, in all the cases that I've seen, most of the people have never played these roles before. So he's always got a lot of apprehension. And uh, therefore, very important that when the employee moves into the new role, his first job must be to reach out to his new team. His job must be to listen, to observe, to understand. And uh, they should be open, they should form different stakeholder groups, they must uh, find out uh, what are the, uh, who are the major influencers in that unit. Uh, they must uh, also find out the talent in that unit, uh, who are the people who are going to be key to the success of the enterprise. So I think key expectation really from a transitioning employee is to listen, observe, and be in a completely learning mode in the first 30 to 60 days or 90 days before he really starts making changes or starts rolling out new initiatives in the plant. The manager is actually crucial because it is the manager who has to have a skin in the game. He has to have a stake in the success of the new role holder of the transitioning employee. And therefore, the manager has to really support the transitioning employee in the first phase of his exposure to a new role by providing him support, by providing him with understanding, by providing him with even uh, enhancement of skills and capabilities through whatever means is possible. Uh, it could be a coach, it could be a, uh, it could be uh, some advanced programs, it could be uh, uh, introducing him to all the set of stakeholders that are important for his new role. So the manager plays a very important role and the manager besides all this has to be very empathetic to the, towards the transitioning employee in the first phase and ensure that uh, he provides him with all the support uh, necessary to succeed in the job. Uh, coaching actually helps an employee fully realize his potential. Uh, many people do not understand the difference between coaching, mentoring, counseling. Uh, coaching is actually very different because in coaching, the coach doesn't really play the role of an advisor or a mentor or a person who shares his experiences. It is, it is a situation in which the coach really draws out insights for the employee from the employee himself makes the employee comes out with his own action plans based on his own understanding, asks powerful questions which can help employees discover their aha moment and therefore truly find the solutions uh, to their success and realization of full potential. So a coach will go a very long way in the success of a transitioning employee. A transitioning employee uh, must be extremely careful uh, when he joins a new role. Uh, one of the first things that he needs to learn is to listen. So if the transitioning employee is not a good listener, I think one of the first uh, emphasis on his development must be to sensitize him to this and to make him a good listener. Because he needs to listen, he needs to observe. 
Second is he needs to avoid judgment. And I think this is very easy to say but very difficult to achieve for most people. So suspending judgment is, is I would say, a key skill uh, when you're in a role of a transitioning employee taking on a new role for which you probably are not fully prepared. Uh, so therefore, suspending judgment, ensuring that your preconceived notions and your own beliefs, attitudes and values do not come in the way of perceiving a new environment and a new business situation is very, very important. Don't make the mistake of running down all that's happened there. Please understand and appreciate the context in which various things happened in your new, in the role environment that you are now playing. Try to be empathetic, try to understand the context. And even if you have in your mind decided that these were wrong initiatives, do not express them publicly in the beginning because people will not appreciate it. Well, I'm a strong believer in coaching and I think I have found that many of my senior officers who've gone through transitioning coaching have really benefited from it. I'm myself on the way to becoming a global leadership coach for ICA. And I can fully appreciate the role that coaches play in the development of various role holders. And I'm not only talking of transitioning employees now, I'm also talking about all the people who actually need coaching support. Coaching in a sense is bringing out the best in people and bringing out the best through their own insights, through their own initiatives and their own actions. And uh, we fundamentally believe that most people are coachable and therefore there is always hope even when we feel that role holders are not 100% ready for a new role. So coaching is essential. Coaching is the way to go. And uh, I think that the ABG's uh, transition coaching, make your mark, is really a step in the right direction.